This one here. This one here. So that's the only one in the world. Good morning, welcome to a new vlog. It's Sunday morning, it's sunny outside, quite crisp autumny weather and I'm going to go out as soon as I've dried my hair, try to cover up some allergy irritation I got in my face. I know what it's from, it's a product I should have known better, but sometimes I want to try products just for the texture or interested in the packaging, so not always about what's inside. So, and then of course I should have known better and not use it on my face, but I did. Anyway, I don't know how well I'm being able to cover this up. I will probably have to wear sunglasses the rest of the day. Anyway, you might know that I live in Chiswick in London and in Old English, Cheeswicker, which this place was a little bit called, was a cheese market. And we have a cheese market in Chiswick. There's a gorgeous cheese market. I mean, who doesn't like cheese? So I'm going to pop along to that and see what I can get. Chiswick is really a place where people come from all over to just hang out at the weekend. So it's quite full. Um, it's Yeah, I find it quite funny. The streets are normally packed, but it's early now. So hopefully there are not too many people. What a glorious day, squirrel. Hey, squirrel. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. It's chilly. People are sitting inside. This is normally packed at this time. Try some, that's the most yeah. important thing. Yeah. An example to try. This one here. This one here. So that's the only one in the world. Um, so Tyvee uh, created cheese called Tyvee Heritage, which has an aged Gouda for two years. Um, we've been looking after that and nurturing it for a further two years. That's so four years old. Jesus Christ. Tasty bit. There oh, we yeah. go. Thank you. So much. enjoy. Love you. Help. 
people knew her by her will to make it whatever she put her mind to late night hours up the hill serving coffee to strangers talking about revenue she kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone there's so many people in that bakery that i didn't want to feel my felt so awkward but i bought three I get straight from the oven. They are hot, 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 and I love it there. The gluten-free breads are so nice, and it's run by a husband and wife who've never been bakers before. So yeah, it's really nice to have it around the corner from my house. Fest in Chiswick is so nice. I'm going to have my raclette in the garden. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, I love this. I haven't had it since the 80s, I think. So this is the Tyvee Gouda from that Welsh cheese heritage shop at the cheese market. I've eaten half of it. Let's have a little bit more. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, so nice. Good Lord. Mm, so nice. Now I'm going to show you a recipe for a porridge that's really, really good if you have a sensitive stomach. I used to have that and this is one of the recipes that really helped me. So when I used to have clients as a nutritionist, this is one of the recipes that I really recommended because all this intermittent fasting, I'm not mega keen. I think it's another of these trends that we're going to look back upon and say, yeah, I worked in some instances, but it's not the holy grail of, you know, getting a, a good digestion and losing weight. I think a breakfast is quite important. I'm not a big breakfast person, but um, this recipe is really calming and soothing and when I used to see clients as a nutritionist, I, I really recommended this. So the night before you're going to eat it, add half a cup of oats to a bowl and put some water in it. This is really good if you're really quite sensitive. Then in the morning, take a nice juicy apple and grate it. Then in the morning, Add your soaked oat to a pan. Add another half a cup of water and then add your rated apple. Yes, I'm not using any milk products, not cow's milk, not oat milk, because that can be a bit irritating on the stomach. So. Stick to water if you want this to be a really clean and calming breakfast. Now to just let this come to a light boil and then also add in about one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and this will fool your body <laughs> to think that you eat something really sugary. Mix it up. This is so good. Some people can't even have, you know, raw apples, can be too hard on their gut lining. So then, you know, this is sort of, it's almost like a, an apple sauce. If you didn't want to have, you can have an apple sauce instead of, of a grated apple. But a grated apple, I find it's A, cheaper, and also, you know, there's no extra sugar in there. When it's done, just plate up. Make sure you don't burn yourself. When I started to eat this, when I had a really sensitive stomach, I only had two tablespoons of oats with one apple. Yeah, if you're really sensitive, just you know, work up from maybe two tablespoons of oats. And there it is. 
No toppings or anything at the beginning, I think. I love to, later on, when my stomach is in a good space, to have um, hemp, uh, I think they're called hemp kernels. They're really good. But for now, just like this. It's really warming, soothing, and it will keep you really full for a long time, all the way to lunch. The weather is still really good, so I'm going to have it outside. I mean, I love this garden so much. It's a little bit chilly, but this porridge will really warm me up. Mmm, mmm, good. This will keep me full all the way until lunchtime, so really good to have this. It's so cheap as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Come back next week for another one. Until then, have a fabulous week and um, see you then. Take care. Bye.